Hi and welcome to another video. In this video I want to take a look at a more flexible way of comparing values. Um, typically in the flow you, you want to um, compare the uh, a reading, say a temperature reading, you want to say the temperature is greater or less than a certain value, then you're going to do certain things. And usually that's hard coded into the flow and we use generally a switch node where we can say is it equal to or is it not equal to or whatever condition you want, there's conditions here. Uh, and then we take a certain action. Now we can use uh, the switch node or we can use uh, the function node. And when you're comparing several values, it's, it's normally common to use the function node rather than the switch node. Um, but what happens if you want to change that? We'd say not 20, you want to make it 22, 24, then you have to go in there and change the, change the code. Um, you can actually get around that by storing that uh, comparison value, the fixed value, into a, a variable and use it that way and set the variable from the display or from, from uh, a table. Uh, but what about the condition? What, if, what happens if you want to change the condition? Well, generally that, that is hard-coded and you have to go into the code to change it. So in this flow, or in this video, I want to take you through a, a way of actually making it more flexible so you can change both the condition and you can change the, the value you're comparing with um, quite easily. And we're going to use the dashboard to do this, but you could actually put these things in, in a table and it could be database driven. Okay, the logic to do this is actually in, in a subflow, and I've called it compare values. Um, if you can think of a better name, I struggle for a name for this, um, then let me know and we'll change it. Um, and this is it here, it's just a single function node, input and output. It has got some a single setup value, which is the condition, so by default it will be equal to, that's the only one. The other values are actually passed in as part of the message object. So we pass in the condition, we pass in the fixed value, that's the value we're going to compare against, and we pass in the value uh, in the message.payload. And you can see that in the code here. We message.condition for the, for the condition, and message.value for the fixed value, and message.payload for the actual um, value we're going to compare against. Okay, and this is the, the function that does the, the work. So if the condition is equal, then we're going to do an equal. If it's not equal, then we're going to do a not equal. And if it's greater than, we're going to do a greater than. So there it is here. So all I do further down here is I set the payload. I pass it as an integer, so we are going to compare as an integer. And then I call the check condition function, and then I return the result on the output. So if, it's, if the condition is true, I return a 1. If it's false, I return a 0. So we've done that. And if we go back to the flow, now the rest of the flow is really um, for the demonstration. So we set the condition on the dashboard and we set the value on the dashboard and we set the value the fixed board I call, I call the fixed value again if you could think of a better name for that then let me know um, using a slider the reason I used a slider is because I did get a question on one of the videos and how do you, how do you set them using the slider so this illustrates that as well and we store them in a flow variable so if we look at this we're storing the condition in the flow variable this is for sensor 1 so this is the test sensor and we do the same for sensor 2 down here and we also store the fixed value and again we set using the slider so let me just show you the dashboard so we set the condition for sensor 1 is it equal to and we set the value um, I've got minus uh, so is it equal to 15 and for sensor 2, greater than or equal to, and let's have 47. And what I've got in the in the setup, I've got a, uh, a temperature and a humidity. So sensor 1 is temperature, sensor 2 is humidity. And I've just got a couple of inject nodes to inject. So this is the test bit. 
So I inject the temperature into the function node here, and all this function node does is read the values. So it reads the values from the flow variables and puts them into the message object. That's all it does. So that's the only purpose of these these here. So we send in the humidity, which is 60, and we send in the temperature, which is 20. And then these things here, I should should actually delete. Um, I did leave this one in here, the humidity. I'll just drop it up here. And this is just if you want to inject the wall with the debug, with the eject node. So just an example there. Uh, you can delete it. So let's have a look at it. So let's inject our temperature. And we get a zero because the temperature is, remember, is it equal to 15? Well, it's not equal to 15, so that's correct. And the humidity, we get a 1, um, because we're injecting a value that can, that's greater than is 47, and the payload we're injecting in there is 60, so it's not, so it's, it is greater than um, the fixed value, so we get a 1. So the logic works. Okay, um, I think that's all I have to say about it. So, as usual, the flow is going to be available for download, so you can download it and you can test it out yourself. Uh, what I haven't put in there is comparison for open and closed, and comparison for um, on and off, things like that, uh, which I'll probably add to later. So, as usual, uh, if you like the video, then click the like button below. If you want to get notified of new videos, then you can always subscribe to the channel. And until next time, goodbye.